Hello my convicts and convicts, yes it is I, the Capricorn Convict, bringing you guys and gals another recording. Yes we're back, it's Monday, but it is a six weeks holidays. So what I've had to start doing now is doing ghost recording, which is kind of recording in my leisure time with the sound turned off and then adding my voice to it. Obviously at night when my little boy is in bed and it's like, what? Three o'clock? Is it four? It's five o'clock. It was three o'clock when I first started and got up, but it's now 5.36 here. So here we go. Let's jump in and see what we can do in Apex Legends. So if you saw it in the very beginning, the kind of teammates I get, I always get really, really, really newbie teammates. I don't know why. I, I get really low-end teammates a lot of times when I play with randoms. I've, I've got no clue why this happens. It could be part of obviously me doing the geo filter that might be causing this issue. I might have to take it off and see if that makes a difference. But a lot of the time I get really, really weak teammates that aren't very good. And it is very frustrating and annoying. I've even vented my, frustra my frustrations out on Twitter to respawn to please give us a matchmaking that will actually put us in with people who have got more playtime. Not really in terms of skill, but more playtime. So I'm playing with people who've got similar playtime to what I have, so that they're going to be pretty decent, if anything. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of that. And if you think it's a good idea, bad idea, let me know. So here we go, let's get into the game. So you can see we've got the triple take, which I don't generally use, and the R99, my favourite weapon of all. And if you've seen me play a lot of such like Titanfall when I've played it recently, I play R99 most of the time because it's just so dominant and fast. I just absolutely love the gun, and for hip firing, it's pretty tank as well. Backpack here, level one. So just letting them know where the backpacks are. I give you a there we go. Here. Level two. So okay, I'm having that. Give that here. I don't mind a bit of level two. But just a big a bit of a heads up as well. I have also fixed my PC to what the problem was before. I think it was my NVIDIA drivers because I don't use my GeForce anymore. Because I had the GeForce 1050 Ti, which has ceased to start working again. I don't know what the problem is, but every time I turn on the system when it's in. It just makes a beeping sound and then I get no actual video. So I, f I don't know if that's because the graphics cards decided to cease working, but I haven't had that graphics card that long. I've only had it a few months, so I might actually contact them to try and fix it if they can, because I'm not paying for graphics card at my ear or at my nose all the time for no reason. So hopefully we can get that fixed. One anyway, let's continue on. So, obviously following where they're going, trying to keep up with teammates. As you can see, this is one of the other things I really hate, is when teammates break off. And he's miles in front. So if he gets down now, there's absolutely zero chance of me catching him. And he's going to Skull Town of all places, which is probably one of the hottest spots on Apex Legends. And it's like... Well, what we're doing? Then he, he's obviously gone back to the other teammate. I've gone forward looking for him. I've obviously spotted someone. Now I've got to pull back and wait for him to catch up. It's like, what's going on here? So I spotted him at the door there, trying to give me a little peek. I was like, okay, well, got to wait now for the teammates to catch me up. And then we can proceed on. It's like, that's what I really hate, is when teammates just... Run all over the place and you, you don't know who to go to. It's like, do I go to this one or do I go to the other one? Who do I go to? So you can hear him running through. So like, okay, there's someone definitely here is running through. Let's quickly grab this and... Luckily, I had the R99 because he did see me just before I saw him. I was trying to pick up that purple knockdown shield. So very lucky that I hip fired him with the R99 to down him. Just getting quick of a healing. Then we're gonna help my teammates out. We need a bit of help here. With the toad blood hair. The other teammate just comes in with some random fires. I don't even know why he did that. <laughs> we just said he's knocked down and he's just come in. I guess. 
it was helping in a way. Better than him not doing it and getting down, so. Ah, yes. So you can hear the zone coming in. I can hear someone else close by, so I'm like, just let my teammates know there is someone else here. I don't know where he is, but he is here. So we've just heard him. I did question it a little bit because I could see the other teammate was pretty close. So, I well, don't know. I could could have been mistaken. Maybe it was the wraith that was close to me. Keep eyes on the new kill leader. So now at this point, it's just a race to keep inside the circle. So teammates already in the circle. I found the turbo charge. I was like, oh my god, of all things to find. And someone's up in that supply bin as well. So I didn't take that. I've got a habit now where whenever I see the hop ups of anything, I always pick up the hop up and I try to carry them as much as possible. Unless I really need to detrimentally drop it for something really, really good in terms of health, shield, or ammo, I will always hold on to them. Now look at this for threading the needle, needle between both those and perfect landing next to the teammate. Uh, that was a 10 out of 10 pathfinder swing in my book. So I know there's someone here. I've just heard him moving about. So that, let's go have a sneaky peek. Let's see what this dude is doing. And my teammate gets attacked by somebody. We start shooting at someone. And uh, someone does drop in the ultimate, as you can see here, the Jibber ultimate. And I think my teammate was just on the outside and he actually got hit by the Jibber ultimate. Who was just there. So I was like, oh god. So I'll go, go save my teammate here. And he's getting shot at, as you can see. I'm like, can I pull him? This is something I was trying to do. I just wondered, can Pathfinder actually physically pull? And I didn't miss him there and accidentally hit the side. But what I was trying to do is, apparently with Pathfinder, if you walk backwards while using your grapple, as long as you hit onto the person, you can actually pull them to you. And that's why I was wondering, can you pull teammates out? And I thought, if you can do that, it'd be cool. Because obviously I can pull him out of danger if there's a point where I can't get to him and he's in danger. And obviously do that. Pablo down here. I don't know if he had healing or if he was just wanting us to keep on reviving him to keep the healing until he got out, you know, out of the storm. So luckily enough to heal up and then he started healing as well with a full med. So I think that's what he was doing even though he was very limited. So I did drop him a battery as well just in case because I didn't know what he had. And then he goes to your battery, I was like, okay, I'll leave that. If he wants the small battery, he can take it. Try and help out a little bit, because I just wondered why he didn't heal through the storm to the point he got downed. But that's probably my logic, is he wanted to wait to get out the storm by us picking him up and doing it that way to try and preserve the health. The ring is in close proximity, less than one minute. So try and take some more energy ammo, drop some of the, the syringes here. Tried to ping it out, but it kept on catching the other thing, that's why I was waiting. I'm just waiting for Blood Bloodhound who okay. is behind us. Now I can tell him, on my way, I'm coming. Just double check down there, there's been times where I've not looked that way and then I've had people that way. And you can see these guys flying in. You can hear him coming up here, it's like, okay. And then there's a new guy who just jumped here, so I thought I'd help out because I didn't think my teammates had seen the lifeline here. And then you can see the Octane on his way. And he gets knocked. 
And then there's another one here, so I was like, okay, I'll ping him out, it's over here. I think he dropped down as well, chasing the Bloodhound. And there he is. Luckily, Bloodhound had it covered. So I was like, okay. Try and grab some more stuff if we can. And then I heard someone to my left here. I'm thinking, see, they're here. I don't know why someone was just in here, but I, I felt like it was them. I was like, okay, I'm just going to finish him off with the good old turbocharger. And take him out. Now, someone did shoot at us, if you just heard that just a moment ago. You can hear him shooting. So it's like, okay. And as you can see, the zone is ticking pretty hard now. So, far better heal up. I was like, ooh, body shield level 3, I'm like, I'm having that. Just need to find it. It's like, where, where, where is it? And it stopped pinging, so I didn't know where it was at this time. I was like, um, where is it? And then I just noticed it here, just as I uh, turned around, I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Just trying to pick up anything we needed in terms of ammo here. Med kit here. So, okay. Right, well, maybe they're giving it for the Bloodhound. He's just sort of like running around with half health, or less than half health actually, probably about a quarter of health. Target over there. And as you can see, the guy shooting from the death board, or whatever you could call it. So like, I'll drop this up here so they can get up here, and then we can go around the back. That obviously he had the advantage of the long range. I don't know why the guy shot at my thing. I think he was trying to think he could destroy my zipline, so that I couldn't use it. And then just go around the back here, pull us back into circle, and then we're pretty much ready to get back into the fight again. Because there's no point with someone at long range like that, trying to rush them, especially head on, would have been just stupid. It would have been easy just to, been to go this way. So I always think, do they have long range? Do they have a G7? Do they have a triple take? Because you don't really want to try facing them from a, a far distance. It's like the Wraith there shouldn't have really shot at this point. Because it would have been better to have physically sneaked upon them and then attacked them which is why i decided i wanted to go this way i'm like no 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 come this way now because you've you've warned them and as you can see he's already hit me it was just pointless to go that way now at least this way we've got the cover of the whole area here to get around he's gonna have to come this way and give us opportunity to obviously get the killing I'll get close to him at least. So take some more energy ammo, just let them know that there's some more stuff here, just in case I've not got these items. I'm just waiting for the supply drop now. I like, no, 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 I like, hang on, we've got this. We've got a supply drop dropping in, why do you want to run off and leave the supply drop. Might as well take it. You never know. It could have gold armor in it. It could have a gold backpack. It could have any of the gold weapons in it. Why, you know, it'd be just insane just to leave it. And there we go. So got full purple now. I was like, what do I drop? It's like, well, I've only got one battery, so I might as well drop that for something that can heal and shield. Heal and shield. Put my teeth in. So you can hear a gunfight is coming from over this way. I'm like, I want to get involved with this. Take this guy out. And then wait for the other guys to filter through, because there is more people here. And he's got gold armor, as you can see, but the gold armor doesn't really protect any more than the purple. I feel, it's just the same. Which I think is good enough, you know, you don't want to have something too much. But there we go. Well, we're coming to the end. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tap that notification bell. And you know who it is. It is I, the Capricorn Vic, signing out. And as always, 
I still lose you my convicts and convict cats and I'll see you soon in another gameplay. And to top it off, we got in six kills and my team did okay. Hopefully you enjoyed and as always, from Kappa, bye from now.